Hi, I'm Dorothy White with Channel 6, and we're so glad that you could join us here today. I am with Mr. Dan Calloway, and we are at Bardstown Bourbon Company. And they have been in business, uh, I'm thinking, for about a year or two, or is it more? Uh, a little more. We started in 2016 and started with the distillery. It's grown. We, we just recently doubled in size to become the sixth largest bourbon distillery. And then two months ago, we opened the space we're sitting in currently, Bottle and Bond Restaurant, which is fantastic, full restaurant, open seven days a week. And I've only been here a few times, but the food was fabulous every time. Can you tell me a little bit about how you put that together with the chefs and with how you pull that staff together? We pulled together an incredible team. Um, Felix Moso, um, former chef at the Greenbrier in West Virginia, has come over. He's leading a fantastic kitchen. We have John Donnelly from Washington, D.C., the Matchbox Restaurant Groups, heading up our food and beverage program. Some of uh, the most talented bartenders I know from Louisville, from Decca Restaurant. And the most exciting thing about our staff is our J-1 visa program, where um, we bring in culinary students from all around the world, South Africa, the Philippines, India. They're students, they come here and learn for a year and just provide a fantastic guest experience. Oh my goodness, I, I had no idea. Now, I knew that you did uh, bring in some staff, you know, from out of the country and that that was just really a unique service there. But when I'm looking around this room, it just looks phenomenal. Uh, and I understand that you actually just hosted something not too long ago for the Bourbon Festival, the Mixed Drink Challenge. Can you tell us about that? Sure. Okay. We, uh, we were honored to be a part of the Kentucky Bourbon Festival Mixed Drink Challenge. The major distilleries in Kentucky compete against each other to be the featured cocktail of Kentucky Bourbon Festival. This is our first time entering and we won, won uh, first place, the prize. Uh, we made a drink called the Modern Prometheus, um, kind of just a, a monster of a drink with all kinds of ingredients that come together to make a fantastic bourbon cocktail. So it'll be the featured drink this year, this September, okay. at the Kentucky Bourbon Festival. Well, that is quite an honor, especially just starting uh, out. I know, you, you know, you're just breaking everything in right, right. and it uh, sounds like you're doing a lot of really positive, good things here. One of the things I really notice is the quality of the food is very consistent, and obviously that, that's kind of a nice thing to know when you're going to come out to eat and have some dinner here. And what are some of the specialties that you just really like folks to try? Sure. There's there's so many to choose from. We want we want our menu to be approachable. We we're not pretentious. We don't have a dress code. We want everyone to come in and and be excited about the food here. So there's something for everyone on the menu. It's a scratch kitchen, local ingredients, everything made right here in house. Okay. Some, some favorites of mine, certainly the shrimp and grits. It's, oh. it's just got the right amount of spice. The Weisenberger grits, um, you know, Kentucky just comes right through and right. it's a great choice for anyone right now. Um, the caprese salad with the fresh local tomatoes is, is great. Our chef has, he studied in Italy for two years oh learning these pesto techniques and brings so much of that kind of a true Italian cuisine uh, right here, although it's, it's an American oh. menu, it just it has so many winners on it. <laughs> wow, that is, is making my mouth water just thinking about it. And I really did have lunch, so. Yeah. Uh, but I, I know when I come into a place like this, one of the first things I want to do is look at the drink menu. Sure. I just want to see, you know, what they have to offer, uh, what different cocktails you might have. And I know when I come with my lady friends and stuff, they, they have a totally different palate than when you come, you know, with my husband or with... Uh, when the guys come, I'm looking behind here. It looks like you've got quite a selection we there. Do. Can you talk yeah. about that just a little bit? Sure. One of, the, one of the coolest things about this place is the bar program. And what, with the create, creativity, what we're able to do, we feature our partner brands. Okay. So we, we run 25 mash bills. We work with different companies from Jefferson's to uh, Calumet to Kentucky Owl. We feature those brands that are distilled and produced here in okay. our cocktails. So we... We do classic bourbon cocktails in our unique way, featuring these partner brands. And outside of that, we run a, a tiki program. We have gin drinks. We oh have fresh vodka drinks that are great for the patio. We, ha we yeah. have something for everyone. We have a fantastic wine list. I feel like it's one of the strongest wine lists 
certainly in the state. It's, it's creative and extensive. You can come in and get an affordable glass or you can get a thousand dollar bottle. <laughs> Whatever you are in the mood for that, that night. Wow. So. Well, Dan, I know with having you here as the, in the management program, what kind of things do you look for when you come into a place like this? Are, sure. You know, what changes do you think that you felt were necessary when you walked into this program? Right. Well, every, I mean, we had such a fantastic team in place when, when I came on board. Okay. Um, and then it's just a matter of we take such pride in the service here. We want to be... To, to have the best hospitality in Kentucky. We want to be welcoming, attentive, and we just are striving to make your night a wonderful experience. Yeah. We want to create an experience for you, a memory, when you come in here. And um, we try to reach for that goal every single day. So. Well, I think you certainly have achieved that. I, I know I've seen an awful lot of pictures in front of that uh, green area back there that mm -hmm. looks like a grassy background, and it is just beautiful. And I know when people come for birthdays or whatever, they're taking pictures and just really enjoying that and getting the full experience of it. I think instead of just coming and sit down and have your dinner and leave, which is fine, mm -hmm. but you actually do have, uh, it's a destination point, and that's really what we want to focus on with the Kentucky Bourbon Festival coming up here in just a few weeks. Uh, we just spoke with them yesterday and they're very excited about having all the different products that you have, what you bring to the table this time. So so that's really exciting too. And I understand that there is a crazy bonfire going on. There's all kinds of things going on. We And I love what you said about being a destination. That's okay. a, that's exactly how we want to be. And during the Kentucky Bourbon Festival, we want to be that destination, especially after you've, you've experienced the festival during the day. You come here, have a drink, have the official cocktail winning drink. We'll right, have uh, right. DJs, we'll, we'll have extended hours. We're going to have a late night food menu mm -hmm. uh, that goes all the way to 1 a.m. here. We want to wow. be kind of the the place to go after you experience the bourbon festival come here okay. and mingle and just have a great night here well we have a whole week that uh, you are going to be inundated with folks from literally all over the world. Anyone who's participated in the festival in the past knows you just get to meet so many interesting people. I think they're going to love that you've already kind of met that challenge with a lot of other things going on here. I think bringing in part of your staff, bringing in chefs, I think that they're really going to be excited about that. And I also see upstairs that you have a beautiful place to have private parties. If someone has maybe a Christmas party or something, Thing that they're planning how early out do they need to start talking to you soon, soon. very soon. soon certainly very soon and and just in general with the reservation ne okay. never hurts to just go ahead and go ahead and make that reservation to make sure you get a spot we've we've been fortunate to to be very busy here at the restaurant and right. enjoy so many guests and we just want to continue that and make sure everyone has the experience they want so I, I strongly recommend going ahead and making whatever reservation you, okay you need would to they just call the restaurant then okay you can call the restaurant directly you okay. can go to our website to make a reservation or open table any okay. of those well let's let's talk about the website for just a minute sure. because I know when I went on there I was just uh, amazed at all the things that you offer already I mean it seems like uh, I know there is a process to obviously making the bourbon creating the bourbon choosing your products and that you want to make everything just go along with that with your cuisine uh, some of the things that you've chosen just seem <laughs> outstanding if, if, if I may so every time uh, that I have been here it's your serving process the way that it's served the way that it looks is just so appetizing and just it's like you just can't wait to come back I, I couldn't have said it better that's exactly our goal is um, oh, just the full presentation experience from top to bottom right. we right. want people to come back we you know come back every day and try something new um, I you know there's something to offer every day Okay, well, I know when uh, we first came in, we saw where you're actually bottling and brewing here right on site. And that's yeah. something I think a lot of folks are not familiar with. Uh, you have your bourbon barns out here that I see. Another one is going up. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. and, and you said that uh, about how many barrels are you expecting then? 
Well, right now we're building, we'll soon be building about two and a half brick houses a year, okay. and those will be 50,000 barrel storage. Okay. We run about seven million proof gallons a year currently, oh so we are, we are running around the clock, two sills, 24 seven. Um, wow. And it's, it's been a fantastic process. And you're right, people sometimes don't realize that we are in the distillery. The restaurant right. is part of the right. distillery. And uh, we will have the tours coming down the line in a couple months. We're still building out some, okay. some of that to make the visitor experience, but we'll have the tours and cocktail tastings and all kinds of programs. There's so many exciting things this year and, and for years to come we have right. in the works so. well and I, I know I hope we'll be able to go out and join you out here on the patio because having an outdoor uh, place to just have your dinner or maybe even just a drink in the evening to me that makes it seem really special and makes it a lot of fun and I know I always enjoy it when we can sit outside and uh, when I'm with my husband we come inside and sit in the air uh, he just prefers that you know when he's having dinner he just would rather sit inside but uh, I know you have a beautiful area out there and just lots of things to see and do here while we're exactly. here and I hope that maybe we can uh, take a minute and move over to the bar area Fantastic. would that work for you and maybe we can try one of those prize-winning drinks let's do it okay Fantastic. And we're back here for, with Channel 6, and we have Javi with us today. He actually is going to help Dan and I make this incredible drink that was just the winner of the Mixed Drink Challenge for the Kentucky Bourbon Festival 2018. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be here in a couple of weeks. Are you ready to make a lot of these? Yes. 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 <laughs> uh, okay. We're actually talking about strategy for handling the volume and, and the demand for this drink. Right. Because it does... Uh, it is an involved cocktail. <laughs> involved. Okay. Involved. By involved, do you mean that there's all these things are going in it? Right. So um, okay. there are, I guess, it's a five bottle pickup right now. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Um, so there we actually go. blended two ingredients. This is walnut oil and these cardamom bitters uh, from Scrappy's Bitters, which are out of Seattle. Okay. Um, then we use Maletti, which is an Amaro uh, from Italy, Pierre Ferrand Cognac from France, uh, Calumet Kentucky Bourbon Whiskey, uh -huh. and this is our house-made uh, Apple Lemon Fernet Syrup. Mm. <laughs> It sounds good already. Yeah. It sounds really good already. If you had to describe it in one word, what would you what would you say? Sweet, mm. bitter, um, tasty. One word. One word. Just okay. More than one word. If you need more than one word, go ahead. Get, give us more than one word. I, I think I can do one word. Bittersweet. Bittersweet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's very nice. What do you think, Dan? Complex. Complex. It's, a, it's a beast. It's, it's a, beast. a beast. Okay. Well, let's start and and just yeah. uh, not too quickly there okay. because we're we're trying to so here watch what you're doing. And as we were putting this together, the thought process was to make the best tasting bourbon cocktail we could make. Okay. And we didn't quite consider when the thousands of people come into Bardstown for the <laughs> festival. So it's fine, we're gonna cross that bridge when we get there. Yes. So this yes. Uh, you know, uses an array of ingredients from around the world, but still focuses on a 10 year Kentucky straight bourbon. The heart okay. of this cocktail is bourbon and that is definitely what they're looking for mm -hmm. uh obviously the enhanced taste exactly is is, is and what you, makes it unique exactly and the nutty uh, aromas and flavors you get from some of these ingredients are, are often found in bourbon so our goal was to en enhance the, what we love about kentucky bourbon and kind of bring out these flavors that that you often find mm -hmm. so it's um it's it's a pretty special one. The Calumet Ten Year is produced here, so we wanted to be sure to feature. Okay, and that's this bottle that right mm -hmm. here. It's a ten year okay. bourbon. All right. um, he's it's a stirred cocktail, so he's putting it on ice to kind of chill it okay. and dilute it. And one of the really cool things about this drink that we didn't mention okay. is we sliced Granny Smith apples and then froze them in the large ice cube. So as the drink melts the ice cube, the aroma of the apple starts coming out as you drink it. So oh my goodness. It's pretty, pretty cool. And so he's stirring it and then he'll strain it on top of this cube. We uh, pick up these vintage, this is true vintage glassware from the ah. 1960s, which uh, 
and and cool. I was going to ask you too who who does who gets to taste test all the um, samples when you're trying out sure. something like this obviously it took a lot to come up with this particular exactly. recipe uh, how many did you well, have to try uh, first honestly a couple hundred maybe oh my it goodness. was a true collaboration with the oh bar team goodness. we have a well, okay. four person bar team okay this one everyone had a hand in which is one of the things that make it so special uh, our head of events and retail she even picked out the walnut oil so we had everyone kind of is this trying this and taste this is bad oh, okay. uh, she came okay. down from Jephtha Creed and uh, okay. she, she uh, had a hand in the walnut oil that went into this drink so so many people were trying this and tasting it really dialing it in because it, it was yeah. important to us and we wanted to do it right right so, this right. is the modern Prometheus named after uh, the subtitle to Frankenstein because okay. it was such a beast and monster of a cocktail and put it together this is the modern Prometheus okay so. well it looks absolutely delicious mm -hmm. and we might just have to try that in a little bit yeah uh, just to see what, what it tastes like too. what's what's your favorite part of this drink you just you put that together so easily and it seemed to just you've done just a few have you yeah okay. we've done a few at okay. this point uh, so I was kind of the driving force behind the house made syrup Okay. Um, we wanted to feature apple and uh, I thought like generally you do a uh, citrus expression kind of an, usually an orange sometimes a lemon over mm -hmm. an old-fashioned and this is like basically an old-fashioned variation mm -hmm. uh, so instead of doing that on the cocktail we put the lemon zest in the syrup uh, and then to take it to the next level we put a, a different Amaro uh, Fernet Branca in the syrup uh -huh. to uh, just add some more complexity. So uh, my, the syrup is my favorite part of the cocktail. <laughs> well, how, how do you know when to stop? I, it has always amazed me that, and I know you have measuring tools here that, you know, you use those tools to measure, but I saw you doing tiny drops. This is just a Taste, just a flavor is right. that that's what you're trying to create with that uh, yeah so we finish with the walnut oil cardamom bitter mix uh, and it is uh, floated on top to try and get the aroma of cardamom and uh, kind of as its own garnish you see the little drops of oil in the drink oh, um, I see. so you just there's such a large cube in there you just kind of put drops on all around the cube and and then you know you're finished i see uh, okay. so some of the stuff is is very free form it, it varies <laughs> from bartender to bartender uh, the measurements of the spirits in there are hard and true i i can see that you are going to have um you're going to have to come up with a, a quick way to produce a lot of these right. all at once. Yeah. Uh, when you've experienced the Bourbon Festival, probably one of the biggest things is the folks that you will meet from all over the world. And I know they're going to have an appreciation for, first of all, the assortment of uh, the liquors that you've used and then of yours, of course, right. and the taste that that's going to just be the you know final top. So I think that's going to be amazing. And I know I, we just can't wait until it gets here. Yeah. I think one of the fun things of the mixed drink challenge is just seeing what people can come up with <laughs> exactly. how, it, not really necessarily how many things you can come you know put into that combination and, and make it taste delicious so uh, do you have anything to add that Dan no, or is just that just a, we're, you, I mean you did so well covering it we're, we're just thrilled and excited to have the our first experience at the Kentucky Bourbon festival, festival with this restaurant bottle and bond. You this will is our never debut. be the same. You will never be the same. We, right? we are thrilled to be a part of it. And, um, you know, with this cocktail being a feature, it's just, right. we couldn't have asked for anything more. And the entire bar team, the entire restaurant is just ready to have an awesome week. Right. Are you ready for this? <laughs> are you going to be like resting the whole week after to, you know? I don't have the luxury. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think that, that's one of the things that I always felt is it's like there's such a build up to it. There's a build up to it. And then that week is a blur. It, yeah. it truly, uh, you try to appreciate the different events and all that's going on, but it, it really is difficult too because your head is just spinning with all the things that, that are happening. So we're really looking forward to that and uh, looking forward to seeing obviously both you gentlemen there. Right. And good luck. Thank you. Just, yeah. just, you know, get ready for this. And uh, I think we'd like to step outside maybe for just a minute. Let's do it. Okay. Thank you. Thank Take you a cigar so much. with you. <laughs> 
Hi, uh, I'm Dorothy White with Channel 6, and we're so glad to have you join us here at Bottle and Bond. We're with the Bardstown Distillery, and I have Dan Calloway that's going to explain a little bit more about the mixed drink. Uh, one of the most special things I see is the ice cube in the middle. Very cool. That uh, That's just a, you know, we did it for the flavor, and then it turned out to have this visual component um, that we just love. The, the cross Granny Smith apples, we just have to slice them extra thin, uh -huh. and then we just sit them together, put them in the ice mold, okay. put it in the freezer, and you could do that with any flavor, and then as the ice melts, whatever flavor you put in the cube will will start to reveal itself in in the drink so and then cool. also the glass that it's in yeah. itself tell us a little bit about that because yeah, that uh, is just beautiful our, our ceo and president david mandel mm -hmm. hunts um this glassware down um different places all over the country even the world our tiki glasses are from london ah. um and they're available in our retail shop okay these shakers and cocktail kits and glasses that you know are genuine usually you know 50s and 60s kind of that mad men yeah culture right. glassware and we sell it here and it just it really adds so much to any drink is is a great well, glass it just kind of fits mm -hmm. and it fits with that drink with the it uniqueness really of it it looks like it just fits perfect it does and i know this outside area a lot of folks maybe have not been familiar with this before now they can enjoy their lunch or dinner out here and mm -hmm. so it adds to the space that you have and then also these wonderful sofas if they want to get sure. comfortable around the fire maybe in the evening and you said you're going to have a lot of extended hours during we the will. bourbon festival and so if you want to come out in the evening maybe after you've been downtown or doing some things around uh, maybe even going to an event mm -hmm. a lot of times you know after the events they like to come somewhere and, and maybe just have a drink or just a little you know something before they go home and just makes it just that much nicer and I know this just looks like a gorgeous mm -hmm. area and like we were saying we've got the bourbon barns behind us right. uh, we've got the distillery in front of us and the restaurant to one side right. it just it's just surrounded with beauty right. I think you've just done a gorgeous job here and just want to thank you so much for having us here. Is there anything you would like to add? No, just like you said, please come out. What better place to experience the Bourbon Festival than to have a drink out here at Bardstown Bourbon <laughs> Company after a great meal at Bottle and Bond, surrounded by the distillery and the Rick House and just the true bourbon culture. So just come out and see us. We'll be thrilled. Uh, to host you. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much, Dan. Thank Thanks you. for having us here today. Thank you.